Whoa! I can feel it working. Now that you've set your master quartz, you're synced with your Arcus units. You should be able to notice a significant difference in combat. All right. Okay, now this is new. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? Sorry, Professor. We're ready. Then let's not waste any more time. Level zero begins on floor B1. The trial will be considered completed once you return to ground level. Professor, isn't that red love? Sir, you shouldn't use that. Oh, don't act like you have a lick of common sense. You're Albert's granddaughter. It's time we saw what Class 7's special operations is made of. I'm curious to see if you can survive with a passing score. Hey, watch the floor! Huh? What? <sighs> right yourself and brace for the landing. Altina, you. Clown Soleus. Never mind. I remember that professor talking, then the floor opened up? Um, it was Yuna, correct? Huh? Uh? My apologies, but if you could move... It's not that you're heavy, but I'm having trouble breathing. <clears throat> well then, history repeats itself. The floor appears to be padded, so bruising should not be an issue. How strangely like the obscene positions you often find yourself in, Instructor Reen. Please don't say things that'll give people the wrong impression. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you're already calling me an instructor. That is your current designation. I assure you, I didn't intend for this to happen. Then again, I suppose intent is irrelevant. I won't make any further excuses. You may hit me if it'll make you feel better. Admirable of you. You being so calm about it just pisses me off even more. So I think I'll take you up on that. Huh. Erebonian boys are just. I do not believe his nationality was a factor. You were just a little unlucky. Not unlucky. I lack the expertise to make a proper landing. That resulted in embarrassment for one of my classmates. I admit my fault. Uh, I see. He's so mature for his age. Well... Minus one stinging cheek, the three of you look fine to me. So, it's time to begin storming the keep. But first, I'll need each of you to show me your weapons. This whole thing is a joke, right? Do we really have to play along? I know the professor, and he isn't the type to joke around. 
He's serious about measuring each of our abilities. I want to learn everyone's combat styles so we can work together and get out of here safely. <sighs> Understood. These are my weapons. Two swords? That takes skill. You're using the Vander School's dual blade style then. I knew of it, but I've never met a practitioner. I admit our great sword style has far more notoriety. But that style also requires one to be born with a broader physique. These blades are better suited for the likes of me. I didn't realize. Well, Yuna, how about you? I'm still not down for all this. But I get it. This is a military academy, so here you go. Another dual wielder. You use side handle batons? They look a little more complicated than that. What are they exactly? These are gunbreakers. Special tonfa with guns installed. Developed by the one and only CGF. They can switch between melee and mid-range firing. An intriguing weapon. Crossbell Guardian Force, right? If I recall, First Lieutenant Orlando was once part of it. He'd left long before the occupation disbanded them, though. Good to know. We'll see how well they work in action today. You do seem to know your way around them. Uh, of course I do. I trained with them at the police academy. And they'll be way more useful than a couple of weapons as old as the Great Collapse. Hmm? <laughs> we'll see where everyone stands once we've engaged in actual combat. You're up next, Altina. Understood. Hold up. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. Who let a kid enroll at a military academy? I've been curious about that myself. She claimed to be with the Intelligence Division, but surely she won't be joining us in battle. Well, personally, I agree, but... There is no need for concern. My physical age is approximately 14 years old. I am no small child. F physical age? No, you're definitely small. I also have my weapon, the basis for my admittance into the Intelligence Division. This explains that black shadow I thought I saw earlier. Clown Soleus, a combat shell. The latest version of the line of special weaponry. Further details are classified. Suffice to say, it will contribute to our overall fighting strength. Um, are things like that normal in the Empire? Of course not. It's my first time seeing something like this, too. The Golden Rock Shasa, the Ashen Chevalier, and even a girl like her. What manner of place is this branch campus? I don't blame either of you for having questions, but we can save them for another time. By the way, this is my weapon. Of course, the Tachi is used by students of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Just like back then. The, I mean, it's just like the sword Arios used. Right. It's not an Imperial-style sword. It comes from the East. <laughs> I guess the Divine Blade of Wind is pretty famous in Crossbell, huh? A lot happened, but he still has plenty of fans. Even when a certain empire has made him a wanted man. Yeah, I suppose so. 
That covers everyone then. Let's be on our way. We're currently on floor B1. If we make it back up to ground level, this little trial will be over. I'll give you some tips along the way on combat, how to use arts, and your Arcus units. Follow me and proceed carefully and deliberately. <laughs> okay, let's just go. I'll give it my all. Commence mission. The entrance is right over there. Let's move out as soon as we're ready. Yes, sir. Just what the... Everyone ready? Let's go! Ha! Let's go! Ha! My turn. There! Battle complete. Let's continue.
enemy found, begin suppression. Activate. I shall go. Charging. Here I go. Yeah. I'm up. Arcus, activate. Battle complete. Let's continue. Ah, oh, treasure chest. My turn. Yeah. It's my turn. Get back. I shall go. It's my turn! There! Nice! We did it!
treasure located. They're in disarray. It's my turn. My turn! Arcus, activate! Now. Brianak, activate! Fire! There! It's mine! <laughs> yeah! It's my turn! Ha! Thank you. Yeah. All right, set! Striker! Let's go! Is that all?
You've just crossed the halfway point. Best of luck on the second half. Yes. Thank you. What kind of campus would build a facility like this on site? Ah, oh, treasure chest. Everyone ready? Now. Brionac, activate fire. There. Kurt, go. Leave it to me! Yeah. <laughs> it's my turn! My turn! 
Huh. Is that all? Yeah, I did it! I must train even more. Stats updated. Now, bring it on! My blade, calm as still water. Now! <laughs> ha! Seventh slash, fallen leaves! Whew. Everyone okay?
Just beyond there are the doors leading to your destination. Be quick about it. Understood. Heading to target point. Wait a second. Be on alert. I have detected a spike in mana. In what? Mana? You guys need to get out of there right away! <clears throat> uh, is this thing... a Panzer Soldat? No, this is... It's a magic knight. An orbal golem from the Dark Ages. Professor Schmidt, are you responsible for this? I happened to acquire a few of these antique machines when they appeared during the Civil War. Though its output is lamentably inferior to Panzer Soldats, its ability to act autonomously is useful. This will be your final challenge in this trial. Is he serious? What is wrong with him? This is going too far! They're not capable of taking on a magic knight. Only one thing I can do. Heed my call! Valimar! The use of a Divine Knight is prohibited for this trial. Level Zero was not calibrated to account for its intervention. Were you to use it against such an opponent, the data I would receive would be useless. You do have another option available to you, Schwarzer. <laughs> against this? Or, if you'd prefer, you may choose to activate the new function installed in the Arcus 2s. Please activate Brave Order! Olivier, uh, Prince Oliver said that you would be able to use it for sure, Instructor! I bid you felicitations on your recent graduation. Delayed by duty though it was. I also wish to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Reed. These may seem on the paltry side as a gift for such an occasion, but I'd like for each of you to have the newly completed Arcus II. I've added some fun little communication features to it, just for you. There are a few other new functions that can only be described as brilliant, so uh, do give them a try next time you find yourself in a pinch. All right, will do. What is this? Uh, I feel some kind of energy coming from him. A combat link? No, it's different. Prepare to engage in combat!
Brave order. Class 7 Special Operations. Put everything you have into defeating the target. Yeah! yeah! A powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Let's go! Raging Fire Formation! Ha! It's my turn! Ha! Now! Grianak, activate! Fire! Very well. Arcus, activate! Uh. I'm up! This isn't good. Thanks, thanks. All right. Ah, take this. Our chance. Get him, instructor. Got it. <laughs> My blade, calm as still water. Now. <gasps> Flash! Fallen leaves! Very well. It's my turn! Ah, take this! Very well. Ah, strike! Now. Brianak, activate! Fire! It's my turn! Huh. 
This is the Blade of the Eight Leaves. All right, got it. Yeah, I did it. I must train even more. Stats updated. <sighs> we did it. Go. <sighs> Stamina depleted. A short rest is required. Uh. Oh, you guys did amazing! The trial's complete! But you took this way too far, Professor! Hmm... That was faster than I expected. I'll have to increase the difficulty next time. Huh? Could you please listen to me? This trial was completely absurd. Next time? Is he gonna make us go through all that again? The probability seems high. At least that put an end to our orienteering exercise. Thank you. Great job, class. You all handled the first test of Brave Order very well. I'm proud of you. There are some areas each of you could improve on, but you just need to tackle them one at a time. I'm sure today hasn't instilled you with much faith in the idea of Class 7. Your class size and this trial are bound to raise some red flags. Then, you have an instructor who's only just graduated. What if he doesn't know what he's doing? Like I said, if you want to transfer to classes 8 or 9, I swear that I'll make it happen. But, it's something I want you to decide for yourselves. Think hard about what you believe, what you want to accomplish, what kind of future you want, and, most importantly, who you are. Only you can figure out if Class 7 is the right place for you. Take all that to heart, and I know you'll have your answer. Una Crawford reporting. From today, I will be part of Class 7, Special Operations. Really? <sighs> Don't get the wrong idea, okay? It's not because I want to. I never wanted to come to this school. I'd much rather be back in Crossbell. I don't like Erebonia, and I don't think much of you either. So it seems. But throughout the entire exercise, your guidance was clear and accurate. If you weren't with us, we never would have beaten that thing. Honestly, it's infuriating. And I'm annoyed I couldn't show off what I learned at the police academy. That's why I'm going to stay in Class 7 until I can prove myself. Until I can show up an annoying hero like you, Ashen Chevalier. She's ridiculous. At least she's consistent in her ridiculousness. <sighs> the annoying part aside, you really don't need to keep calling me a hero. But you know what? I respect that kind of determination. Welcome to Class 7, Yuna. <laughs> Got it. Kurt Vander reporting. I will also join Class 7. That said, I have no definitive reason for doing so. Oh? I simply have no objections to the branch campus's decision to place me in this class. If anything, I'm grateful for the chances it'll give me to test my skills in real combat. 
I couldn't face my family if I allowed the blades I inherited to rust. So they're heirlooms? Metaphorical. He means the will of the Vander School. I'm also interested in seeing what the Eight Leaves can do. So far, I'm not impressed. Whoa! That's way out of line. I do not believe you're in any position to say that. <laughs> well, that's because I'm still learning. Just like you guys. Welcome to Class 7, Kurt. Thank you. Hmm? How about you, Altina? There is no need for confirmation. While the details are classified, I intend to follow the protocols of the mission. No, Altina, that's not what I mean. The answer needs to come from you. Does she not understand? I won't accept your participation unless you chose this. I don't care who originally placed you here, whether it was the principal, the intelligence division, or even the imperial government. Why do you want to stay? It can be anything. And it can't be what I said? Hey! Why are you picking on her so much? I still don't get how you guys know each other, but you can't talk like that to a little girl who... I can't think of a reason. All that comes to mind is how I've supported you on all of your operations this past year. If I'm to be at the branch campus, it is only right that I be in your class. It was also Class 7 who once stood in the way of my mission. Even if the students have changed, I find myself somewhat drawn to the name. Does that work? Oh. Uh. It works for now. I'm glad you're staying, Altina. Okay. Oh, brother. You sure drew that out. It's been one thing after another. I now officially declare the formation of Class 7 Special Operations. Let's all work hard and grow together. Not just as a class, but as comrades. That was so sweet, Rain. I was wondering how things were going down here. Foolish. No instructor has the authority to change a student's placement. If any of them wanted to transfer, I would have allowed it. Principal Le Guin, with all due respect... Everything worked out, so it's fine. Didn't you hear? They decided for themselves. Classes 8 and 9 had a good start, too. Not bad for a trash bin. The coming days will be very interesting, indeed. Train our fledglings well while you can. That is, if you don't want them to be swept away by this turbulent era. Of course! Yes, ma'am. Yeesh! <laughs> this is some school I landed myself in. He's even worse than Gramps. Coming here to study is crazy enough, but you sure you want to work under that old goat? <laughs> Don't be like that, he's actually pretty amazing. And I feel like I'll be able to make a lot of friends here. But most importantly, I want to do all I can in place of everyone who couldn't come to the Empire. Look at you, all grown up and doing your own thing. Guess I can't call you short stuff anymore, huh? Oh. <laughs> Our old enemies are definitely on the move. 
not just them. The Imperial government and a few other groups are up to something too. Thank the freaking goddess that dumbass was around to help me set up a long distance line. If anything happens, I'll be here in a flash. Don't hesitate to call me, Tita, you got that? You bet. But only if you promise me you'll be careful, Agate. Don't do anything too crazy. I see. For both the main and branch campuses? Yes. Their first day ended without incident. Class 7, Special Operations, Class 8, Combat Tactics, and Class 9, Military Finance have all been established. Man, oh man. Just when I thought we finally shoved that beast in a cage. Arabonia's number one sweetheart just had to show up wanting to be an instructor. Indeed. Between them and a certain capable young woman, there's far more talent there than one would ever expect from a trash bin. Perhaps there wasn't a need to send him there from Crossbell so soon after all. Who do you think you're fooling? We all know why you really sent him. But whatever, a powerhouse like him will come in handy. I'm not sure this is appropriate. In any event, the wheels are now in motion. With Northambria's annexation, every bush those serpents would dare hide in has been burned to ash. They have no choice left but to try and reclaim their master's plan. As for the branch campus, that pitiful final act of rebellion from a prince who's lost his blade and his wings. We shall simply have it and my worthless son dance at the end of our strings. Your Excellency. Uh-huh. Laying it on kind of thick, don't you think? By your will, Excellency, we Ironbloods will see your ambitions are fulfilled. I think the connection's finally gone through. Yay, it worked! I never dreamed I'd be able to talk with you all like this. Indeed. His Highness was too kind to arrange this feature. Doesn't look like Reen or Gaius came through. Could be they're too far away. Oh, or maybe somewhere where the signal's super weak. No matter. I'm sure we'll have more than ample opportunities to speak with them in the coming days. That's right. And we can finally fulfill our promise. Well, you sure are fired up. How could she not be? This is the season for reunions, after all. Yeah, spring is here once again.